Here, so I can actually see my painting. I was going to. Okay, okay. So it didn't like that for now. I do apologize. And it's embarrassing, like yourself, and here I am, full of string, like a little bit of an idiot. We are where we are, so you would like a room. Okay, I've got my guest. Little window that you can see out into the main street. 
couch on it as well so it's a lovely room it's probably our most expensive um, but it's a double and obviously it needs fresh linen as well so we need somebody to do up the beds oh no we don't need the linen on the beds the rats and mice you know trust me you can't you can't be too sure about the rats and mice they often will come in and chew holes in your nice fresh linen so i mm. never Although it is next door to Jeremy the Gigolo. Um, so it might be quite noisy. Jeremy. We have a long term resident, Jeremy the Gigolo. <laughs> He's an awfully nice chap. Obviously, he makes his living in an interesting way. And he often has lovely guests that stay with him and make a lot of noise. So, that's often why we don't, you know, book out the room next to Jeremy the Jiggle. I mean, if you're interested, he does have rates, special rates for those staying at the hotel. I can certainly give you his card. No? Not just now? Okay. I mean, I heard he does do some nice cream pies. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Okay, so if you don't want that room, you're going to take the attic room, are you sure? Oh, it certainly is cosy. Oh, and yes, you don't really ever see any mess or rats up there, so it'd be much better for you indeed, indeed. Now, let me see. Um, I'm going to need to get old Mark. So wonderfully orangey. We just sit it here on the counter beside the candle, okay? Great. I'll go and get her. Just give me a moment. Large. Wake up. Focused. Shh. Get up. I need you to do the attic room. 
she's just down there. Yeah, we don't really have rooms here. We just kind of sleep on the job, you know. Any. believe something that you can use to look into somebody's eyes. It's not mine. It's Dr. Ambledink's. Yes, Dr. Ambledink, he stays here. He is a regular. He's from Edinburgh, but he's often over in Glasgow doing some strange open surgeries. You can go and see them if you like. Yes, in the surgical theatre, you can watch as a live audience. So to the surgeries in there. That's his. Oh well, if you see Dr. Appleton, he does all sort of elixirs. He can give you some fresh herbs like these for your teeth. And certain herbs can make you feel very um, happy and very sleepy as well. toiletries with you. Because if not, if you need anything, there's a couple of stores down the road. If you go back behind you and you take a right, uh -huh, across there, there is, oh, there's a green grocer's, there's a butcher's, there's a bakery, there's also a market as well. In the market you can trade as well. You don't have to give any shillings. You can trade if you got something that they want. You can trade it for something you want. It's very helpful. Very handy. I actually love to go to the market tomorrow, you know. Mm. Anyway, are you doing okay? Yes, of course, just sit there. There's a little seat there if you need it. While we wait for Oh, 
door more than once. He does go a bit crazy. We've had a few scratching incidents. Um, so we let him stay free of charge in his room. We call it Teddy's room now. Uh, so yeah, if you see him, sometimes he comes down for his milk in the morning. Just be mindful of him. Yeah, just let him do his own thing. Try not to disturb him. Especially if you're allergic to cat hair. I would seriously stay away from him. You don't want to see Dr. Humbledink. I mean, Dr. Humbledink's a good doctor, but I only ever see him cutting people open and I really, really would love for you not to be cut open. Because you seem very nice and you're very handsome. And we would certainly would not want that, okay? Right, just to business meeting tomorrow. We'll take this. A gift from me to you. It's a tiger's eye. It'll help you in your meeting, I'm sure of it. Look at the right energies that you need. I was told that once by the witchy lady in the market. She gave me a whole pack of these stones. So they'll come and use the Strange 
somebody described it as a Russian accent. She's always going out and meeting men in dark corners. I think she's a spy. So I would keep your self-distanced from her. I mean, she's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. So she may be tempting for somebody like you to get to know, but I would just watch yourself. We sometimes have unexpected murders this part of the town, so and Marge is absolutely convinced that it's her. Well, Marge has heard some strange conversations. She's seen her a few times near places that were I would just be on your best behaviour. No funny business. Like I said, if you want any funny business, you can go straight away the gigolo. I'm sure he will give you a good time. If you're staying here until Sunday, you ought to go and check out the Sunday morning fair. People sell all sorts of animals and fresh dairy and it's wonderful. The children play in the streets. Me? No, I'm not married. No, no. a nice gentleman come along like yourself. Well, I certainly would consider it. No, it belonged here to my father. He's awfully pretty now, so I know around the place. And he takes most of the money. <laughs> He's going to give it to his sons. He knows my brothers. like that where you're from. This sure sounds nice. Maybe I ought to come visit sometime. Okay, now, Marge, it should almost be done your room. A few more minutes, I think. She'll come downstairs and let us know.
especially in this disgusting weather that we're having at the minute. Nobody wants darkness. It's a recipe for bad dreams and I don't like it. Seven until I mean you can probably get breakfast at any time. March will do it for you. It's not a problem. But I would recommend if you want some of the best bits of fresh warm bread, maybe don't buy ATM at the latest. That would be a good idea. Hmm, certainly. Right, well. Ah here she comes. Alright, and we'll see you first thing. 